Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to be talking about my April favorites. Now I love April. April is the month that I was born. I am an Aries baby to the T and I'm a very proud Aries. But when I was thinking about all the things that I used this month, there was a common theme. That theme being that I have neglected myself. <laughs> I've really neglected myself this month. The only makeup that I have been wearing is the work makeup that I literally throw in my backpack every day when I go to work and slap on my face, whether it be on the bus, at the office. So I guess if you're interested in seeing what my work makeup is, we're gonna hop into that. I'll go over some other things that I loved, but quite honestly, I feel like April flew by in a flash. This month I've just been traveling a lot with my husband, but work has been crazy. It's just been like go, 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 go. So I've neglected to take care of myself. I went ahead, I put some sunscreen on my face. This month being that Mike and I were in California and we're going to Nashville next week, I decided that I needed to up my SPF game. So I have still been wearing my La Roche Posay. That is what is on my face today. And prior to putting that on, I'm still using my Tatcha water cream. I showed you guys this in my last favorites video, but I wanted to mention that I am still doing that kind of pre-makeup skincare routine. I have talked crap about this many times and I do think that it is a steep amount of money. I think this thing is like $18. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This came to the rescue. This month I wore the Maybelline Baby Lips, which I'm not, I may have honestly thrown it out. It is a beautiful color. I think it is a beautiful dupe for the Dior 001 Lip Glow, which is very expensive, but Dior helps to hydrate my lips. Whereas that, it gives that same color pink tint. It kind of doesn't do anything hydrating for my lips. And I don't know about you, but have you ever worn a lip product consistently and you kind of get like a ring around your lips because it just kind of makes your lips dry. When Mike and I were traveling, I brought this, I brought the Maybelline Baby Lips and I also brought the Estee Lauder um, Lip Balm, which I have over here. I will show you that one. I love this. I think it's beautiful. It gives a really nice sheen to the lips. But same kind of thing, it doesn't hydrate my lips. So it is expensive, but it has saved me quite a few times. And I'm also like kind of off of the Aquaphor, cha Aquaphor train. So this has been it for me recently. I also really love the Lana Lips 101 ointment. However, my subscriber that has been talking me through my dermatitis that has acted up all this month, but she's been really helpful in giving me tips. And she told me that lanolin helps, well, doesn't help. It encourages the further irritation of my mouth. So I haven't been wearing my Lana Lips 101 ointment. So that's why this has been my saving grace. And thank you to my subscriber. You're the best, honestly. I love this. This is the Merit Great Skin. It's an instant glow serum. I am no dermatologist. I do not know much about this product other than the fact that it helps to moisturize my skin and it's a beautiful kind of like lay down for Merit's products. So it helps like make them more emollient. I shake it because it does naturally separate. And then I take one pump and it is a very oily consistency. And I kind of just tap it over top of my sunscreen. I don't want to like rub it. I, I mean, I don't know. What do I know? I don't know much, but I do know that I don't rub it because in my mind, I feel like that's kind of taking away from the sunscreen, but maybe I'm wrong. I kind of just, honestly, I kind of slap it all over my face um, and I'm a little rough, but since I don't want to promote people being rough with their skin, trying to be a little bit more delicate. But it, truth be told, in the morning, I am rushing, rushing. I just always am waiting until the last minute to do anything. I just use a little bit. If you have oily skin, I do not think that you will like this, and I think that your makeup will move throughout the day. But here is my little to-go bag. I keep her packed every day. Some mornings, like I said, when I wake up, I take it out and I do my makeup here, but I'm not gonna lie to you, eight out of 10 times, I will do my makeup on the go. These are the very old packaging because I got these a long time ago. They're not bad. At least that's what I tell myself. So I have two shades. It has a little bit of a peachy pink undertone to it. This is in the shade Dune. And then I have the shade Linen, more of a beigey. So we have beige and we have pink. So what I like to do is I take the pink and I put it under my eyes because I find that the pink helps to cancel out my darkness. I literally just like pat it into the skin. I don't know. I find like swiping, it puts a little bit too much product on. And I love the shape of this because I can just get it right in the inner corner, which is where I personally have the most blue. See, in that corner. 
and I kind of just go all around my eye like that. Now I let this sit on the skin and I'll take the other shade, beige in linen, and I do the same thing, but I do it around my mouth. And I like to leave it on my skin for a little bit because it helps to warm up the product, makes it a little bit more emollient, and this product is, I would say, light to medium coverage, but if you let it sink into the skin a bit, kind of like the heat of your skin kind of melts it down, or maybe it's a mixture with air. I don't know, I'm not a chemist, but if you leave it on your skin for a bit, it makes it a little bit more full coverage. So I don't know if you can see, but I look insane. I look really crazy. It cosmetics, this is the number seven complexion brush, and I just start patting around my mouth, going all over my face in stamping motions and then when i get to sections of my face where there isn't as much texture like back here i go in swiping motions up here i don't have too much texture so i kind of do a mix of stippling and blending my under eyes are very textured so i like to use my index finger i gently just like pat it into my skin it helps to keep my under eyes the smoothest not only with this product but honestly with any concealer if you use your finger the warmth of your finger helps to melt the product down and the thinner a product is the less texture it will show in your skin but i also find that with this merit perfecting stick it works the best. It's not like full, full coverage. You can still see my bags, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I really do just like to look like myself, but like a little bit more presentable. So you guys know that's just been the vibe lately. If you're interested in any of the Mara products, I do have an affiliate link. I will leave my link down below. And I would appreciate it if you would shop my link if you've heard about a Mara product from me. I make a little bit of commission off of the company, but again, I will link it down below. And this is the skin. It's just like really juicy, natural. Like this is great summer makeup skin also. When I have a little bit of oily -erness, oily oilierness, when I have a little bit of more oil to my skin, I find that these sticks just blend even better. If you're dry, I think that the Great Skin Serum before is a must. If you're oily, I think you just go straight in with these sticks. I think they discontinued this. I think it is on a live. But this is the Ardell Glam Touring Stick. I bought this at Sally's a really long time ago. I'm on like the ass end of it. This is my favorite like contour bronzer stick of all time. It's just such a good color and I just love the shape of it. Like it has stayed really slanty, really pointy the entire time that I've had this. And I've had this for a very long time, probably too long, um, but it's okay because I'm almost done with it. This is literally what I do to my face. And this is what I do to my face on the bus. I've used her so many times you can't even see, but it says OG very fadedly on here. And I just like to blend down my neck. This has been my everyday work makeup for the longest time and you're gonna see a lot of things are running low so I am gonna have to mix it up soon which I will clearly share with you but this is just really easy quick foolproof makeup I love these products honestly this is like the perfect everyday makeup routine I usually don't use this on the weekends but in April I did because like I said I just I don't know where I was but I wasn't here after I add that contour stick I do like to go around with whatever is left over on my brush, blend things a little bit better. I go over the nose a bit. If I brought it down a little bit too far, I just lift. It's just like a really nice, dewy, juicy look. Merit in Beverly Hills, she is just like flat. Like there is barely any product left in here, but I've been taking it with the same brush and just patting it on the tops of my cheeks. It's so pretty, just like such a good combo. It's ever left over, I put it in the crease. And I put whatever's left over on the brush on the bridge of my nose, just like that. Oh, how much better do I look? Like seriously, it's crazy what a little bag of makeup, how big of a difference a little bag of makeup can make. I do not recommend this. It is very expensive and I do not think that it's worth your money, but I've been using Grande Brow 2-in-1, which I should really look at what ingredients are in here. I just wanna make a PSA because I learned this literally last night, maybe like two or three months ago, I was watching Tati Westbrook. She was saying how lash growth serums like for your eyelashes cause the fat in your eyes to like 
dissipate and so you get like sunken in bags you know what I'm saying it just it makes you look a lot older so I stopped using my Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Serum about three months ago when I heard Tati say this but then last night I was on TikTok and I saw this video of this plastic surgeon telling this story about how she used Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Serum and then she took she saw pictures of herself from an event and her one eye was like exponentially bigger than the other she went to an eye doctor and the eye doctor was like yeah your one eye is bulging and basically a really long story short they thought a slew of things were wrong with her and she found out that the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Serum was creating the fat around her eye to dissipate and so her eye was drooping the whole thing was just crazy and so I'm here to tell you if you are using any kind of growth serum for your lashes do your research I forgot the name of the ingredient but I will put it down below however she was also saying that a lot of companies do not call it by that name because so many people know this issue and this was news to me so I'm sharing with you in case you use Rodan and Fields because I did it for the longest time and I saw such a big difference in the length of my lashes but it's not worth it if you're gonna have to have surgery but I don't know what's in this however it's not going on my lashes so I think it's okay but this does um, claim to help grow your brows. I'm using the Grande Brows because I bought it, but the reason I say it's not worth it is like, can you see how it leaves like little specks all over your brow? You gotta go in with a spoolie. So you need another product. You know, it's not like a one and done kind of brow gel. I have also been really enjoying this brow pencil. This is the BB Brow Pencil in Blonde. Cool toned brown. And I like that it creates a little bit more dimension in my brows. Now, some days I'll just use the Grande Brow and call it a day, but it is the weekend and I tend to put a little bit more effort into my brows on the weekend just because I film on the weekends and I have to stare at my brows while I edit them the entire time and I cannot tell you like 10 out of 10 times I hate my brows lately and I hate to say that because so many people say so many things about my brows and I hate to be like yes they're terrible and I agree but I'm just not loving them a lot lately they're going through a phase oh my god and it could also be the fact that I use products like gone Gande brows, like grande brows that I don't like just to use them because I spent my money on them. I often find that sometimes I just need to move on and not dwell. So I'm not gonna dwell. We're not dwelling. <coughs> Mac Fix Plus, look at this little bebe. I'm gonna need another one. I don't love this powder. However, I love that it is compact. It's not a loose powder. It's a solid powder. It's very white though. So you've been forewarned. It can be flashback if you put too much on. This brush again, and just remove any of the product that has gotten or has moved into my creases. Morphe M0 brush. I pick this up and I pat wherever I want to set, which for me, is always the center of my face because I am dry, but product will move. So I kind of go between the brushes, between setting and removing. And I love to get right in here. This brush is like honestly the best shape because I get really dark right in here, like I showed you before. So I just kind of like pack that brightening powder there. It's so nice. I like this powder. It is very white, but it's good for like cleanups. If you brought the contour down a little bit too far, you can just take a little bit of this. It's like potent enough in terms of pigmentation that you can help just like clean up and reshape things. This has been my most used this month just because it's compact and Mike and I have been traveling. Take my dual ended hourglass and I'm picking up the bronzer and I'm patting it over top of where I put that Ardell contour stick. So I just set it with the bronzer because if you set a cream with a powder, it's gonna last all day long. The smaller side on this one and set the blush, put some into the crease of my eye. But can you see, it kind of just makes everything pop. And again, it also sets it. I really haven't been doing eyeshadow. Is that shocking to you? Because it shouldn't be, especially when I told you that I've just been neglecting myself. And half the time, even when I'm not neglecting myself, I don't use eyeshadow. So I use my Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler, the YSL Lash Clash in Unhibited Brown. I'm just embracing the browns. And I like the brown on my lashes. I like the brown in my hair. I'm embracing being a brunette again and doing that. I just love this mascara. The color is really what gets me. I'm still really into my max strip down, so this has been the lip liner of choice. Again, I just am neglecting myself, so if I know it's a goodie, I'm just gonna use it because I'm not thinking about anything but 
getting on with my life like don't you hate that i hate that like this whole month i just had so much anxiety and so much like go 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 that i didn't even have time i just hate that because i feel like you don't have time or at least i don't let myself have the time to have gratitude for what's in front of me and like be in the moment so that's something that i definitely want to focus more on in may doing more for myself today was the first time in like over a month that i did my new face and i feel like you know if you know you know that if it's been that long since i've done it your girl is in a funk i just been focusing all my efforts on getting things done and working out so beauty has really gone to the wayside but i need to find a happy medium because that makes me sad and and in order to be mentally healthy i need to do the things that make me happy without a doubt though this month this has been the lipstick of the hour ysl love shine i bought the shade 205 i think it's called something brown but they really go by the numbers they don't really go by the names i like this because it goes with my brown hair it just goes with my brown hair and that is the makeup done. Because I have been having dermatitis and a lot of uncomfortableness on my face, this month I did this thing that my one of my subscribers, again, love her, she told me to mix a little bit of tea tree oil. So I have the Shea Moisture Tea Tree Oil Premium Blend. Mixed it in with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Really lightweight, comfortable cream, lets my skin breathe, doesn't do too much. So I basically took a little bit of lotion on the back of my hand. I put in like half a pump of this. I mixed the two and I put it around my mouth and that really, really helped me with my dermatitis. It was great. My dermatitis was acting up when I got to Napa, but I think it's because because of the change between humid weather and then going to dry California because California, she is a desert. Prior to, I was doing that every day for like two weeks here on the East Coast before Mike and I left and my skin looked so, so much better. I love these cat book marks. My husband bought them for me. It came in like a set of different ones. They bring me joy. Here's my everyday planner that you guys have seen so many times. My girlfriend told me that I am like Elle Woods with this and it was one of the best compliments I had ever received. I think he got them on Amazon. I will find them and link them below, but like how fun is that? And I was using another one for my, it's over here, let me grab it. I was using this one for the book that I was reading, but now I'm reading my Kindle. That's a great segue into the next thing. This month I have been reading Husbands, which my husband recommended to me, and I'm really liking it. It's a lighthearted book, but honestly, I feel like it does a good job of, it's kind of like the moral of the story so far. And I'm like halfway done. I will definitely give you a recap when I do finish. The moral of the story is like to be grateful for what you have. So I really think that it helped influence me this weekend to like clean the home because it's kind of like you need to be more present and realize like what you have while it's here i feel like it's good for me right now like i think i really need to be centered and i need to like hone in on gratitude and being more present i have been really back on my workout game i'm very proud of myself i am like slowly but surely getting back to my stronger self and i've been working out i always do at home workouts i'm a big at home workout girly and i tend to follow videos on youtube i just feel like the less i have to think about my workout the more i enjoy it and the quicker it goes by does that make sense i've been doing fit by mick i really 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 enjoy her workouts my aunt actually recommended that i check out her channel and thank you so much aunt abby because i've been doing her videos at least five six times a week what i like about her is that they are strength focused you can take the time to really perfect and think about your form which is so important to me or any of you out there if you are trying to work through an injury like you want to work out but you need to be a little bit more conscious about we should all be aware of our form and whatnot because that's how you prevent injuries but i did sydney cummings workouts for the longest time and i find that sydney really pushes you and you're just in that mindset like sydney's workouts i'm always like i need to lift more i need to do more with fit by mick reps are 45 seconds and then you get 15 seconds in between being someone who needs to really think about my form and take my time that kind of of format works for me instead of like 30 seconds on 10 seconds off i don't know if you're someone that works out it makes sense but
but if you are trying to become stronger and you're a beginner she really is wonderful at explaining things but then she lets you like think about your form just like get into the workout so i highly recommend her if you are again looking for somebody to work out with follow along here on youtube i will put her channel down below but so so good and i've been really enjoying them speaking of working out with my hip injury i bought these it's like a yoga strap and i have never used a yoga strap before in my life going to physical therapy as much work as it was and how kind of like draining it was mentally and emotionally sometimes it was like the best thing that i think i could have done for myself because linda my PT instructor. I love her so much. She really taught me how to stretch my hips and she really taught me the importance of mobility. Now I feel like you hear that word all the time, mobility, 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 especially in the fitness world. And you're kind of just like, okay, you want me to stretch. But it's so much more than just like stretching. It's really like feeling better in your body every day. So I bought this yoga strap and super, super helpful with my hip. Linda taught me several ways to use it. There are so many more ways and beyond to use it, but I will link it down below. I bought it off of Amazon and it actually comes with a little pamphlet that she shows you all of the different things that you can do with the strap in order to help stretch your hamstrings, your calves, your entire body. Such a saving grace because I notice such a big difference when I use it and stretch out my hip. I have so much more mobility. I sound like such an old lady and I know that these are boring things, but like this has been my life, okay? Working out, making sure that I'm not hurting myself while I do it. I hope that next month I'm still stretching and doing all the things to make me feel good, but I hope I'm also like enjoying beauty. I was really on a beauty little kick for a little bit and now I don't know, I just, again, I just feel like I've been rushing, rushing, rushing. I need to be more present and more mindful. Now, I know I said that I'm a workout from home kind of girly, but I love this bag, okay? Listen to me. When Mike and I were traveling this month, whenever I would go to the gym, I would take my little Lululemon fanny pack. You guys have seen this so many times. I love this thing, highly recommend it. I know it's like very mommy, like I don't know. It is, but it's so convenient and I wear it, whether it be around my waist or I wear it around my chest. Like Mike and I went horseback riding, ignore my phone, it's so annoying. Wore it around my chest when Mike and I went horseback riding. So, you know, I had free range of all the things. I wear it around my waist when Mike and I go for walks. But then when Mike and I were traveling, I just threw my phone and I also put my straps. It's just one, two, three, kind of go. And if I were a girl that went to the gym on a regular basis, like this would be my gym bag. You know, you could throw your phone in here. You can clean it easy. Oh my God, guys, one of the best purchases. I love this bag so, so much. And I'm so happy that the warmer weather is here because now she will be back. Mike and I have gone on a couple spring walks. I actually think we're gonna go on a walk today. And she accompanies me every single time. Mike and I were in Napa and this is my Napa hat. I don't wanna put it on my head because I just worked so hard at slicking my hair down, but I love this hat. This is from Bar Barbo, Barbor, Barbor. It's it's just such a good color. It goes with my wardrobe like so stunningly. I wear this the most in the fall and the spring. I don't really wear hats in the winter and I wear more like baseball caps in the summer. I would really like a super cute like straw kind of hat like this for the summer. Like a cowboy hat kind of. Oh my God, that would be so cute. But I love her and so I had to mention her because I wore her so, so much. Another thing that I wore a lot in April, because let's be real, here on the East Coast, like leather jacket weather is nearly non-existent. So I'm gonna show you my leather jacket because one of the best pieces I own, thank you so much, Michael, because he bought it for me for Christmas. Oh. He always buys me things that I don't know that I need and then I get them and I love them and I can't live without them. This is my All Saints leather jacket and I wore her all throughout Napa and I'm gonna wear her in Nashville. But like she is just, if you could feel her, she's so soft, she's like edgy, but she's not too much, you know, throw it on and go. I just, I'm gonna try and find her. I love the pockets. You have a huge pocket. It takes up like the entire, like all of this. So if you need to carry things, it's great. You can zipper her up and wear her. It's just so good. I love the zippers on the side. I love the gold detailing. I cannot say enough good things. It makes me want a leather jacket wardrobe, like this jacket alone. I will link it down below. It was a Christmas gift, but honestly, this will last me a lifetime. I will have this jacket forever. It's so good. I'm going to mention this. You guys have seen this bag so many times this month. Gianni Chiarini sent me this beautiful, oh, I was looking for my sunglasses and I was looking for my glasses. I took this bag with me to Napa, needless to say. I feel like that was kind of obvious. 
when I just took it out. Honestly, I might take it to Nashville. But guys, I love this bag. Oh my God, I can't get enough of her. It's like a dark color. Like it's a little wintry. It's like a eggplant, kind of like navy. But this strap just is everything to me on this bag. Perfect size. It's big, you can just like throw your life in here, but it's not too big against my body. It's like the perfect size because I am petite. It's just such a good size. And I kind of want to buy a lighter color for the summer, but Lord Jesus knows, and you all know that I don't need another handbag. The strap that Gianna gave me right here, this little chain strap is game changing. Like I, use this bag all the time and so i had to mention it i can't get enough this is my favorite bag at the moment which if you know me that's saying a lot especially because i have that ysl bag in my collection and i absolutely love her i bought her for myself for my birthday it was definitely a splurge she's just kind of temperamental and like i said we've had so much rain here that i can't take her out in the rain because it's sweet and i'm afraid i'm gonna ruin her and i'm not gonna ruin her gianna carini great bag great company i love their stuff i own so many of their bags and if you're interested in seeing my bag collection i will link that video here last but not least what was i going to say oh my god oh speaking of my birthday and the things that i bought myself let's talk about jewelry i took off my silver bracelets i think that gold looks better against my skin i think that gold makes me look less pale i mean i'm still pale but i just think that gold is more flattering i'm gonna add to this stack but this has just been what i've been wearing because mike and i went to nava i wanted it to be simple i also am an aries i've been getting a lot of like side eye from people from my tattoos because a lot of the time i wear a stack and you can't really see my tattoo like they're hidden underneath my bracelets, which I like because my tattoos are for me. But in case you didn't know me and in case you didn't know my Aries traits, I like when things bother people, when they're petty things. I took off all my jewelry before Mike and I went to Napa and I literally only had my love bracelet on. So this one wasn't on. And someone was like, oh wow, you got a bunch of like new tattoos. When did you get those? And I just got the feeling that the tattoos were bothersome and I love it. I don't know. I'm not, I don't like confidence. Confrontation. I'm not one for confrontation. I can get a little feisty. I can get a little bitey, but I don't like fighting with people. I like kumbaya and peace. But when petty things like my tattoos bother people, I relish in it. So honestly, I'm going to add a stack because I love a stack of bracelets, but I got to be honest, I've just been liking the tattoos being out because like when I'm, when I'm walking, like my tat, they're out. Like they're out and they're about, and I love them. Okay. And a lot of people have a lot of things to say about my tattoos. I have my Cartier Love bracelet, I have my nail bracelet, and then my rings are the same, but I will say that ever since I picked this up, I have not stopped wearing this pinky bracelet that I got from David Yurman. This was something that I bought myself for my birthday. I just find like it fits perfectly with my little stack. So yeah, this has been the vibe. I love her and I've been wearing a lot of hoop earrings. I've also been wearing a lot of studs. I gotta say I've been wearing these a lot lately just because my makeup has been simple my outfits have kind of been simple i do like to spice it up with like a chunkier earring and i really love these fendi ones because f is for fortune also for fendi here's the skin now that the sun is out can you see it's just like dewy juicy natural i just look like meva better do you not agree that was it those were all my favorites in april my goal for may is to be a little bit more selfish and i feel like this is an interesting topic because when people say like i need to be a little bit more selfish i feel like people take that like so the wrong way like oh you need to be selfish like you're already selfish i i mean i'm someone where i have hobbies that i like to do when i don't do them i get into a funk i don't know i just it's a weird topic but in may I want to be more selfish and I think that in doing so pouring more into my cup I can pour into others a little bit better because I feel like I've been neglecting myself I feel like I've kind of been neglecting those that I love I've just been a little distant with everyone because I'm not in a good space myself but hopefully that will change in May hopefully I'll use my new face and like I know this all sounds like materialistic and like oh you're gonna tighten your face and you're gonna mask more but those are things that make me feel more, you know, here 
in the moment. I need to be more here and I need to be in the moment because I just think that makes me a better me. I love you guys so much. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what were some things that you loved in April? Did you pick up any hobbies? Do you have goals for yourself in May? I would love to hear them. Anything and everything. I love to talk to you guys. If you're not yet subscribed, think about subscribing. I would love for you to become a part of my little family here on the interweb. And also click that bell button notification. This way you get a little notification every time a new video goes up. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much again for joining me and I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.